So in today's video, I'm going to show you guys how I install a lace wig behind my hairline for a super natural install. This video is sponsored by Wow African. They sent me this wig to use for this video. I'm gonna put all the details about this wig down below in the description box, so be sure to check out the description box if you are interested. The wig actually came in a natural, like reddish brown copper color, but I ended up coloring it red to match my hair color. So before I get started on the install process, I'm going to go ahead and cut off the lace before I start the install process because installing it behind your hairline is just easier and you're less likely to cut your hair if you cut it off your head. So the first thing I'm going to do is part out the areas that I want to leave out. And I want to do very minimal leave out, I mean barely any. You also want to have your hair parted where you're going to wear your part on the wig. So I'm going to do a side part. So I already have that done. And then I just have a slick back because I feel like sometimes that makes my wigs lay flatter. But of course you can do this with braids if that is your preference. So because I am doing the slick back, that is why you see me using the hairspray and that's just to keep that hair in place while I apply the lace wig. So to make this look as natural as possible, you want to kind of line up your part on the wig to match your part on your head. And that is just so the scalp area looks extra natural. And then I'm also going to do a little bit of customization. I want that part to kind of lay exactly perfect. And then I'm gonna cut off any areas where there's excess lace. So I'm going to move in small sections because I may need to do more customizing as I go along, but I'm just taking my freeze spray. You can spray this underneath the lace or on top of the lace, and then I'm going to blow it dry to get that nice firm hold. And I'm going to do this all around my hairline. And as you're going around your hairline, you may notice areas that you need to cut some extra lace off. Just go ahead and cut off that lace. You just wanna do a little bit at a time. You could probably apply this with glue or lace spray as well. You probably just would have to be a little bit more careful when you do take it out in terms of removal so you don't pull out your hair. And also I just chose to use the free spray just because it is super easy to take off. So if you wanna take it off that night, you can do it and it's an easy removal process. So typically any type of spray or adhesive you use can leave a white cast. So what I like to do is to take a little bit of styling foam, not mousse, but styling foam or setting foam. And I like to put that around the edges. This is the same thing I do if I'm applying my lace wig in front of my hairline. It helps take that white cast away and it also helps mold your hair into place. So I'm gonna tie that down, do my makeup, and then come back for the finished look. So the last part of this process is just blending and making sure your part lines up correctly so that it looks super natural. And the blending part is not hard at all because you have the tiniest amount of leave out to blend. So it's very easy. Like in some areas, I pretty much only had baby hair. And so if your lace is not the exact color of your scalp, especially like me since I dyed the hair, you can just add a little bit of foundation over the part so that it looks a little bit more natural. But that is pretty much it. So this is a easy and quick install so that you have a more natural look around your hairline and you don't have to do all that extra customizing. I absolutely love everything about this method of install for lace wigs. It can still be very protective. You can get a texture that doesn't require any heat. Um, so let me know if you've tried it. Let me know what y'all think and until next time.